Welcome back to Mrs. Steiner Reads. I'm Mrs. Steiner, and it's another great day to read another great book. And wow, do I have a great one. Not just a great book, but a great author. This is the book we're going to read today, and it's called Potato Pants. Potato Pants. Potatoes don't wear pants, or do they? But I want you to see this author that I'm talking about today. Her name's Laurie Keller. Guys and girls, this is a great author. When you go to your easy readers or your picture books in your library, I want you to go to the easy readers and I want you to go to K-E-L for the author's last name. And she's got some great other books. Her other books include Do Unto Otters. Otters, get it? Instead of Do Unto Others, it's Do Unto Otters. That's funny. And her other ones are Arnie the Donut and We Are Growing and The Scrambled States of America. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe that one help, would help us learn all of our states. Do you know how many states there are? There's 50. And the other one that I really want you to see is Open Wide, Tooth School Inside. Oh, I think that one looks good because do you see the little teeth dressed up? Kind of like the potato's gonna be dressed up today. Oops, sorry, that's called a spoiler. Okay, so today I've already shown you the book. It's called Potato Pants and guys and girls, I'm going to say it like I always do. This is one of my favorites. I love this book, and I hope you do too. So here we go. Potato Pants by Laurie Keller. Now look, because there's somebody saying a little something right here, you always have to read the little bubbles, don't you? He says, yes, she created the book, but it was I, Tuberto, who created the pants. Potato is excited. That's why he's doing the robot. I call it the Pobot because I'm a potato. He's excited because today, for one day only, Lance Vance's Fancy Pants Store is selling potato pants. Yee! Potato knows every tater in town will want a pair. So he's there early because like the sign says, once they're gone, they're gone. I want a stripy pair, just like the ones in the window with stripy suspenders for added stripiness. What's this? Potato is upset. That's why he stopped doing the robot. He's upset about that eggplant who just walked in at Lance Fancy's Fancy Pants store. What's he doing here? Eggplants don't even wear pants. Yesterday was eggplant pants day. Potato won't go into Lance Vance's fancy pants store now because of that eggplant. That eggplant is nothing but trouble. Yesterday, I was walking along minding my own potatoey business when he ran by and pushed me right into the trash can. Out of my way, pow. If he sees me in Lance Vance's fancy pants store, he'll push me again and ruin my brand new potato pants. Poor potato. It's not easy for him to watch all the other potatoes walk by with their new potato pants. I love my new potato pants. We love ours too. Mine have polka dots and ruffles. Mine have big pockets. Mine are kind of scratchy. I may need some potato underpants. Potato is losing his patience waiting for that eggplant to leave Lance Vance's fancy pants store. What's taking him so long? And if yesterday was eggplant pants day, why is he here on potato pants day? Potato pants day, that's ridiculous. Potatoes don't even wear pants. It's not ridiculous, grocery store lady. Oh, the grocery store. They have potatoes. Maybe they've got potato pants too. What a clever potato. He figured out a way to avoid the eggplant and still get his potato pants. Hello, grocery store. Do you have potato pants? Potato pants? Yeah, you know, pants that are made for potatoes. We don't have potato pants. Well, maybe in your store, you call them something more like spud slacks, tater trousers, yam chaps. Any of those, Rebel? Heck, I could probably squeeze myself into a pair of cucumber cords if I had to. Do you have any cucumber cords? Sorry, sir. No clothing here. Just food. Potato is not giving up. He's sure there's a way to get potato pants without having to face that eggplant. Think, think, think. Don't panic. 
I still have time. Actually, you don't have much time. There's only one pair of potato pants left on the rack. <gasps> only one pair of potato pants left on the rack? What will potato do now? Potato pants! Out of my way! Only one pair left! What a brave potato. He's not gonna let that eggplant stop him from getting the last pair of potato pants on the rack. Bam! Rip! Potato pants! Where are they? I need potato pants! Yikes! Potato may be in for more trouble than he barking for after that entrance. Oh no. Potato is too late. Where are they? Sorry. I got the last pair on the rack. Okay, okay, potato. Let's take a moment here. Come on, deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's it. Think of the puffy clouds. Inhale, ex. Oh, forget it. This is exhausting. Let it out, potato. <gasps> It's not fair. Actually, his eggplant pants aren't perfect anymore. You hit him with the door and they ripped all the way up the back. You can see for yourself. Here he comes. Oh, potato. It's been nice knowing you. I've been looking for you, Spud. Potato is scared. If he had potato boots, he'd be shaking in them. I came back here to do what I should have done yesterday. What? Turn me into mashed potatoes. I'm here to apologize. I'm sorry I pushed you. I was in a hurry to get these eggplant pants. I hope you'll forgive me. What? He's not turning me into mashed potatoes? Potato is shocked. His starchy little head is spinning. Forgive him? Why should I forgive him? He pushed me into a trash can. Er, but I ripped his brand new eggplant pants. Ugh, I don't know what to do. So will Potato forgive the eggplant or not? What would you do? I forgive you, eggplant. And I'm sorry for ruining your new eggplant pants. Excuse me, we can fix your eggplant pants and they'll be as good as new. And the sale is over, so you can have the potato pants on the mannequin in the window. Do you like those? <gasps> like them? I love them! Now that is one stripey potato. Potato's favorite thing about his new potato pants, besides their stripey stripiness, is that they also make great robot pants, pobot pants, eggbot pants. The end. Oh. oh, but look, I love the books that when you turn the page, there's something just a little extra at the end. So look, 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 look. Meet the creator of Potato Pants, Tuberto. He's very Tubuerto was inspired to create potato pants after not being able to find pants that fit him properly. He's now designing a full line of potato fashions for both the active and the couch potato. <laughs> couch potato. And then do you see the pants collection? Oh, that's hilarious. Look at all those pants. There's all different kinds of pants. And if you look really close, do you see potato pants as pants, his stripy potato pants with the suspenders? Yes, you do. Okay, so what did you think of potato pants? Oh, I think I loved it. And you know, there's I always like to try to find the message in the book. So let's try to think of what the message was. Well, first of all, maybe patience, because he wasn't very patient, was he? But I have trouble with patience too. All my friends will tell you I'm not very patient. So that's something we could work on. Also, forgiving someone when they do something bad, but even before that, saying you're sorry when you do something to somebody, like the eggplant did to the pants when he pushed him in the trash can. But then when somebody tells you they're sorry, then you have to say, okay, 
because the next thing is to forget them. That's really important too. Okay, so we read a great book. We learned some lessons about being good friends because that's the best. And we talked about a great author that I think you ought to look at all her books, Laurie Keller. I want you to go to the library and find all her books and read every single one of them because I bet they're just as good as potato pants. So before we go, I need you to remember to like this video, make sure you follow me on Facebook at Mrs. Steiner Reads, and you can follow me on Twitter at Mrs. Steiner Reads. It sure is great to read a great book today, and I sure am glad you came to see me. Come back soon. Bye.